Hi guys, my name is FireFi and welcome back to another episode of Shapes.io. And today we are going to build this marvelous, marvelous shape. Um, it's meant to be the hardest in the game. There's meant to be no other like it. Um, and we're going to try and figure it out. I have gone around and looked around at what we need and how we can do it. And everything just seems a bit confusing. <laughs> if I'm going to, if I'm going to be truthful, it seems quite confusing. So I'm going to take a sort of basis of one and try it and see what happens. So like, and subscribe if you have not subscribed already and if you like this video and let's just get straight into it so over here i made a similar um layout of what we need and as you can see we need the red circles red stars and white circles and the blue and uncolored circles it doesn't look like the shape, but I'm hoping that it does make the shape and that's just a bug and it can't really figure it out because it, it uses some little tricks. So over here, um, oh, as you can see, I've done all my blueprint <laughs> madness over here. Um, done all tunnels, so it helps with frame rate. And yeah, we've got a lot of, uh, we've got full four stacks of blueprints coming in. I have actually stopped it because I don't really need it at the moment. So if we check over here, if I press this button, there you go. We get four lines of blueprints, but we don't need that. So that's fine. We're going to leave it as it is. Now I do have the four white circles already. Why is this one not working? Hmm. That is weird. Ah, I see. You gonna come through? Excellent. Okay. I don't know why I deleted that before. But there we go, more circles coming. Okay, so I've got my four white circles here. While I was making white circles, or some circles, I decided to use these so I can make four sets of stars, which no longer need to be deleted. Um, they're not gonna come until I start using these, unfortunately. And that's the four white circles that I would need for the shape. So once that all gets used, these are going to start coming in. So we're going to turn them into red stars down here. And we're going to bring the white circles down here. And then down in this lovely place, I'm going to make four rows of the blue and uncolored circles and four rows of red circles. We're going to join all of that up around here, I guess, let's say. Uh, spaceship and construct them all to go into the hub over here. Now, this is going to be quite big and I'm not sure if it's even going to work, but we'll figure it out and we'll figure it out together. So first thing I want to do, I kind of want to line up everything so that I can use this layout and see if it works. So let's start getting the white circles down here and the red stars. For that, we just need to bring these pipes down. We're gonna need the color here. So again, to our trusty uh, blueprint. And also, I realized that this can be made tighter. We like things compact in this game and I failed you by not doing that. So we're gonna just compact them like so and done. There you go, nice and compact. 
Right, so what are we coming for? We come here to get painted. So let's grab that. Let's go over to our spaceship. And we are going to use that here, I guess. Yep, that looking good to me. So we need four of them. And that will bring the color in the top one and the shapes in that one. So let's just quickly get that in. And, uh, and I'll turn this all into um, tunnels at some point. Because again, it will kill my frame rate if I don't. Uh, let's get that there. and get them all ready. Excellent. Um, what are we going to do here? Should I just do that? Go there. That can go up. Perfect. Nice and easy. Alright, so if we make some tunnels here, and that is literally, I'm just going to do this one because eventually I'm going to turn them all into tunnels. I'll most likely do that off screen because it's not a very fun process and it takes a bit of time. And I'm sure you don't want to be watching me delete and replace everything with tunnels so again so that's our red stars done let's get the white circles wherever they are there they are uh, bring them all down to here I guess hmm can that go past beautiful Then just two more. And last one, straight down. Cool. So as you can see, now that enables these stars to be made. Um, hello. And why are you not getting made? That is going into there, that is going into there, that is going into there. This, um, okay, that's not being made because that's all blocked up. Okay, cool. It's, uh, it's a bit hectic up there. All right. So where are we going to build it? We're going to build it around here. So I just want to get I think as close together as possible. Make a little sort of skeleton belt as they call it. And that'll make it so much easier to organize when we're constructing it. So there you have it. All our, the first two parts of our shape. So now we need red circles and the blue and uncolored checkered circle, which is all the way down here. It's gonna be a long distance for this to travel. So if we get the red circles first, because that, that's the easier one to do. Because from For the blue checkered ones, we're going to use the quad painter. And I think I know a way of painting and not painting at the same time. Because I thought you couldn't do that. When I tried it last, it wasn't working for some reason. And maybe I just didn't see how to do it properly. Okay, that's cool. And then get 
ですね。ですね。あ、oh, is this gonna be a problem? This might be a problem.、Mm, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And that can just jump across. There we go. That can go in there. This can make way for this. And then we have you for that one. Oh, perfect. That, that, that is actually so perfect. Cool. Red circles being made. Now, let's figure out these.、Uh, This checkered one. So we've got quad painters over here, I believe. Yeah. Now, what are we doing with this? So want, we want it to come out that way. And one line of. Shapes for two colors. Hmm. Would it be easier just to、um, cut them, paint them separately? No, it wouldn't. Let, let's try this. Let's figure this out. So、we want that. And we want it here and in there. So let's do that. Like that. And we can see how much that gives us. And obviously, we're gonna neaten this up a bit. But, alright, what one do I want? I want that one. And I'll put that here as well. Yeah, we're gonna neaten that up a bit. Let's see how it goes. I just wanna see. If it can make, if I'm using it efficiently. So let's put that on there. Let's put a bin. And now we need to turn it on. So if I do that and that, like that, and put a switch there, that works. Now, how many are we making? And is there enough blue? It doesn't seem like there's enough blue. We should be making it around 16. So, what about if I do this?、Mm. And we turn that on. How fast is that going now? That's a bit better. Still not quite hitting what I want it to hit. And that could just be visual representation.、Um, what are these quad painters doing?、Uh, this one here. So, yeah, it should be doing 16 items per second. Hmm, and I definitely know there's 16 items of these going in. But to need to use two of these 
per quad painter. That means I'll need eight of these, which is not particularly fun. Well, it is possible. And you know what, 15 per second is not a bad number. So, okay, let's uh, turn that off and delete all of this and let's make it nice and neat. And there you have it. I said nice and neat, kind of lied, it's not that neat, but it is four lines of checkered blue and uncolored circles. And I used eight color painters for this. Uh, well, not color painters, eight blue colors and variable lines for this. Now we just need to uh, do the switch. So we can do that. Put that there. That there. Nice and easy. And then all we need to do after that is turn this baby on. And there you have it. Four lines of checkered, blue and uncolored circles. And that, I believe, marks the end of everything. And then we make, bring it up all here and then we will try and combine it and cut it and everything else that we need to do. So let's get everything in line. take a look at our little idea over here so the first thing we want to do we're gonna cut up the circles into four pieces and then use one piece over here and this three with these three stars so we're gonna need some quad cutters for the red circles. Let's take a look at our factory blueprint and see if we have quad cutters. And we do. But I don't exactly want this design. I wanna adjust it a bit. So, I only want, let's move this down here. I'm gonna do one line, get everything all fixed up and then try and replicate it. So I don't want them all going into one. I want to get this one, I believe. I should actually build this down here. So I want the first corner gone. Uh, where are you? So I want that corner gone, which is that one I believe. So if we want that one gone and we want to stack the other ones, we can just do something like that. And there you have it. That is the first part to our shape over here. And we need to rotate that and bring it back down.
but then we can rotate that this way. And that gives us, this needs to add to the star. Sorry, if I'm taking long to talk, it is rather confusing. I'm just trying to figure this out properly. So this needs to add to the star. So we need to cut this star into four pieces as well and do pretty much the same thing we did here. So let's put this here. I'm definitely going to make try and make it a lot more compact. That needs to go like that. And we are going to actually do this and this one and rotate this one. Mm, this way. That is what I need. So then these two, <laughs> these two right here, need to stack. And if that stacks, that shape makes wait, did I stack it the right way? No, I stacked it the wrong way. Um it's a shame you can't do an alternative version to this because now I just have to cross the path, which is Unnecessary. All right, let's do that. I need to get some productions of these. So let's do that, do that. And for now, since we're not using these two, let's do that. So now that makes this shape. Then, Rotate it. Do we rotate it? Yes, we do rotate it. Then rotate it and then cut it. And that makes one part. Oh no, I don't want that. I want that to go like that. Why is that not coming? Okay, I'm gonna need to uh, put some bins here so the stars keep coming. Um, okay, so that makes that shape. And I think I rotated it wrong. Because that is not meant to be that way. That is meant to be. Like. This. And then I delete this one. Then I rotate it. And that should be that corner there. We then have to stack it onto the white circles. Hmm. So if I take this one and this one. Let's do that. Bring you down here. Get you out here. And we can bring you. Whoa, wrong thing. Get 
down here too. We can stack you. Okay, let's get that in a bit. All right, we can stack you guys. And then let's get a white circle. Which would then stack here to make that shape. That would then stack onto this. And no, that doesn't work. Hmm. Hmm. Why does that not work? Why is that side big? What about if I don't rotate it? What does that give me? That gives that for that. No. Okay, so maybe I have to rotate it. What if I rotate it like that? What does that do? Okay, so that gives me that. And then if I rotate that way, and then then this one, Put that in here. No, same thing. It's literally the same thing. Okay. <sighs> this shape is uh, quite troublesome, as you can see. So why does that one stay big and this one stay small? That's what I want to know. Is it the way it's stacked here? Okay. Give me a few seconds in your time and about a few hours in my time and I'm going to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, and I'm back. And yes, I've made it. Finally made it. You can see it here. What I did wrong was I stacked the stars on top of the circles where I was meant to stick the circles on top of the stars. It makes sense. So I needed a small circle and a big star. And for some reason, that works absolutely fine. Um, yeah, bit of a mess. It's gonna be quite big to make four of these, but obviously we can compact it quite a lot. The main thing is, this uh, spaghetti that we're gonna have, which is, hmm, actually I can kind of sort it out before, and for example, it looks like the blues need to go on top, the whites need to go on bottom, stars and circles can stay where they are. So it just it literally means blues go on top and whites go on bottom, which is not too bad. 
So yeah, wow. Okay, there you have it. I am gonna compact this design, um, make it as best as I possibly can, and then uh, make four of them and connect them all together. And we should have four lines of these coming through. See you in a sec. Okay, and I am done. <laughs> I am done. All right, so this is the big factory that we're using. And this produces frame rate going four lines of these beautiful shapes. And why is that stopped at 40? What's going on? That one. Oh, come on. What's happening? I should have checked everything before I came back in, but we can check it together and decode it. So that one seems fine. Yeah, that seems absolutely fine. We are struggling with these stars here. Uh, why is this one not working? Where does it stop working? Which is weird because I've just literally copied and pasted. So I don't think it should be working. Maybe if I connect it, it might work better. And there you go, I think it's going through. And that should be that done. Now, why did this stop at 40? I think it's all filled up. Mm. Let's empty that. Maybe, yeah, there was another shape in there. Because at first I messed up a bit and there was other shapes, but that's perfect. So now let's check. That one's going up, that one's going up, that one's going up, and that one's going up. They could be going a bit faster, if you ask me. I don't know why that one is slacking. It's not getting as many stars as these ones. These ones are on point. And I wonder why that is. Because they're all the same. Hmm. Oh, well. That is what it is. At least we are making some. And now all we got to do is get them back to base. And now where is my base? All the way there. So, we do something like this. Here. Yeah. Actually, let's use this as a guide. Like that. Looks good. And then we do the same here, same here. And the same in this one. Excellent. I'll actually uh, don't want it to come out yet. Better make a little uh, buffer first. Get that around there. Oh, I can't believe we finally made this. This shape was absolutely terrifying. And I'm, I'm gonna go through it again, just to um, show everyone what I've done. Um, just to make sure that if you was following and you don't know how to do it, it just gives a little bit of an overview and hopefully helps clear things up. Cause it is quite a confusing, process. So let's just get these entering the hub. And then we'll go through explaining what we did.
right. Look at that. Perfect. Lovely stuff. And that will help us with upgrades as well. Because we need we need them for upgrades. So let's just let me quickly grab a screenshot to actually get that filled up a bit. Alright, screenshot grabbed. And now let's just go for it. So what what we do? What do we do? We make the blue and uncolored checkered circle. We then cut that in half and that is used at the end of the machine. We make, we use red stars and red circles. So this bit is the complex bit. We have to take away one part of the red star and one part of the red circle. Now they have to be in different places because when we connect them together, if you see, we want to use the trick that we use in level 20, put the circle on top of the red and then split it. And what that does, uh, put the circle on top of the red, put the circle on top of the star and then split it. And what that does, it keeps the bottom layer a star, so the big pointy bit, and it makes the top layer, the circle bit, smaller, which makes that big star and that small circle. We then make the other side of the sort of spaceship, which is these two. Now these two are the same level, so they can be combined just naturally. So the bit that we take off the circle and the star, we combine them naturally, rotating as and when needed. And then we pull it on the white circle. Now this is actually the thing that is the most important. We need to put the white circle on first and then combine it together. Because for some reason, when you do that, this pointy bit stays as a second layer and everything else turns as the third layer. And I don't know how that works, but it does. And that creates you the spaceship. Then we put the first half of that onto the spaceship and then the second half. I haven't really tried not um, cutting it in half. Maybe that can work as well. I'm not sure. But um, go ahead, try it if you want to. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's that. So we are now going to wait for this to go through, which I don't know why it's on 5.5 .5 here. But hey, we're getting some. And Yes, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, and we are back. Level 26 completed, finally. You did it, you unlocked the free to play mode. This means that shapes are now randomly generated. Since the hub will require a throughput from now on, I highly recommend to build a machine which automatically delivers the requested shape. The hub outputs the requested shape on the wires layer, so you, all you have to do is analyze it and automatically configure your factory based on that. And there you go. The hardest shape done. Now, I was wondering why my um, it started to reduce a lot. So I started looking at it while I was waiting. And I came to the conclusion, as you can see here, that these stacks reduce the amount going through. And I did a few tests that I did over here, I believe. Yes. So if you see here, it's all coming out at two per second. And that's because of these stacking machines that only do two per second, I believe. Yeah. So that reduces the whole machine two per second. Once you have it normally, it's about four per second. I don't know why that's showing like that, but yeah, it's normally about four. I think it's because it's backing up. But it's normally about four and I hit the 16. So this is what I normally have. And you can see it was only hitting 10. But when I put a few more, it hits up to 15. So I can even put one more 
and maybe get it to 16. So yeah, if you ever have that problem, it's because these are stacked like this. Uh, maybe there's a more efficient way to do it. Maybe bring all the layers out and then do a big stacking uh, machine there. But yeah, I'm going to delete that because that's useless. And yes, there we have it. Again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.